five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of SpaceX Transporter 9. Go Transporter, go SpaceX. The vehicle's pitching down range. Nominal chamber pressure. It is T plus 40 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Space Launch Complex 4 East. And we've got some awesome views there. Falcon 9 is nominal. Falcon 9 is throttling down in preparation for max Q. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle during ascent. Vehicle supersonic. And that should be coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. And great call out there. We've passed through max Q. Next up will be a few events happening back to back. That will be Miko, stage separation, stage one flip, SES one, and then the start of the boost back burn on the first stage vehicle. Now Miko is where we will shut down all nine of those M1D engines that you see ignited okay, on your screen there. Again. Once we shut down those engines, then we can prepare for stage separation. That's where the first and second stages will separate from each other. After that, the first stage vehicle will begin to make its way back to land with the stage one flip as well as the start of its boost back burn, while the second stage ignites its MVAC engine with the event called SES-1 or second stage engine start one. Again, those events coming up here in just about 20 seconds or so, that will be Miko stage separation, Stage one flip and the boost back burn as well as SES one. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And some incredible views there on your screen. You could see the first stage vehicle in the view of the second stage view. We've also have a shortened nozzle on today's flight today, so you can see the flame on that MVAC engine burning very bright. Excellent views today. What a sight to see. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we just heard the call out for sering, se fairing separation confirmation. And we are in the boost back burn of that first stage vehicle. This boost back burn lasts just about a minute. Stage one boost back shutdown. And there's that call out. The boost back burn has concluded for the first stage vehicle. Now that is the first of three burns in order for the first stage vehicle to make its way both back to are land. Following nominal trajectories. Some good call outs there, both vehicles following nominal trajectories. On your left hand screen, you can see that the grid fins are deploying on the first stage vehicle. So it will first do its flip boost back burn and now it can deploy those grid fins to help guide it back to our landing zone today. Again, what you're seeing on your screen on the left hand side is a view of the first stage vehicle and on your right hand screen, a view from the second stage looking at our MVAC engine. We've got some awesome clear views today on both the first and second stage. Really cool to see the next event coming up for the first stage vehicle will be the entry burn. That should happen around the T plus six minute mark, which is just, just about a minute and 15 seconds away from now.
Again, the first stage vehicle has three burns in order to make its way back to land today. It's already completed the boost back burn. The next burn will be the entry burn. That's where we'll reignite um, some engines to help slow the vehicle down in preparation for re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Then we'll use the atmosphere to help scrub most of the velocity on the vehicle and then use a final burn, the landing burn, to help the vehicle touch down for landing. Again, what you're seeing on your screen is a view of the second stage vehicle. Today we are flying a shortened nozzle. That's why you could see that flame coming out of that MVAC engine there. Again, with some incredible views with the earth in the background. And we are coming up on the entry burn for the first stage vehicle here in a few seconds. First stage on your left hand screen. Both vehicles continue to follow anomalous trajectories. Stage one entry burn startup. And there you can see that the entry burn has begun on the first stage vehicle. This burn lasts just about 15 seconds or so. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And as you, can see, is saved. as you can see and heard that call out that the entry burn has concluded, those engines have shut down. Again, that helps slow the vehicle down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere, but now we are u utilizing the atmosphere to help slow down the first stage velocity. Now the landing burn should be coming up here in about 10 seconds or so. Stage one is transonic. Stage one landing burn. And there you can see the landing burn has begun. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on landing zone four. Landing led deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And an awesome view as Falcon 9 touched down on landing zone four. This marks the 12th landing for the specific booster and also marks SpaceX's 244th landing Space of an orbital class guidance. rocket. Stage two FTS is saved. Now the next event coming up is SECO one or second stage engine cutoff one. And that will be where we shut down that NVAC engine that you see burning bright on your screen and allow the vehicle to coast. This will be the first shutdown of this engine, first of two burns. Seco. Nominal orbit insertion.